1988. What an incredible year. It was finally sporting excellence at the Seoul Olympics, groundbreaking music on the acid house scene, and the England football team gave this historic performance on Wogan. That dancing is brilliant. 1988 was quite a year. Our pop idols were bros. And as we can see in this fascinating early footage, that passive aggressive sibling rivalry starts here. He I'm fatter than Matt in this picture, Matt. He's, he's bigger than me. Yeah, yeah, I'm not fatter than you, can I, you can be. You are. British wrestling was still on. Saturday afternoon TV was all about elderly men jumping on other elderly men whilst performing weirdly choreographed moves like this and wearing nappies. During the week, these two were just getting started. Remember this? Very warm good morning to you. Welcome to Liverpool's Albert Dock. My name is Richard Maidley and this is my wife, Judy Finnegan. Hello. You won't get a word in edgeways, Judy. Get used to it. However, Richard and Judy were only the second hottest couple of the year after these two waistcoat wearers. Kylie and Jason. They were so hot, they actually set fire to the studio. Jason saving the day with a flawless fireman's lift. 1988, a contender for my most embarrassing year. Sure, that brought it all back. What were you doing then? Were Last year at school, smuggling boys into school by that stage. <laughs> <laughs> but you weren't into Bross and Kylie and Jason? Yeah, we were obsessed with Kylie and Jason. We used to sit, we used to watch Neighbours every day uh, after lunch. Did you do uh, the whole twice a day? Yeah, I think we probably did do it twice a day. Yeah, probably did do it twice a day. And we, that was a thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But Richard and Judy, do you mind? I, I, there was someone I was at university I've never with seen who Richard spent and Judy. an entire year charting Rich, uh, Judy Finnegan's menstrual cycle. <laughs> <laughs> what? Whoa, 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 whoa. So whoa, are you going to have whoa, to say whoa. that again from the start? Because yes. some sentences was, have to be repeated. So judging from how she behaved oh, okay. and what she drank, <laughs> and I remember him saying, there's something wrong with Oh, is it him? Oh, yeah. Because he would it was. know. He said, there's something wrong with Judy. And then not long after, she had a hysterectomy, so he wasn't wrong. Blimey. Wow. I was on Richard and Judy once, and Richard suddenly ripped his shirt open. <laughs> and he had loads of um, fancy-dressed beards sellotaped to his chest. I mean, was this for a feature for the programme, or was it...? Yeah, it turned out that he was doing a feature on, on medallion men. Right. But it wasn't at all apparent to me that that's what was happening. <laughs> In 1991, Canary Wharf was erected. Sonic scuppered across the screen as the Sega game gear was released with its average graphics. And David Icke entered his turquoise phase in this seminal interview. You claim to be the son of God. Mm -hmm. 2,000 years ago, had a guy called Jesus sat here and said these same things, you would still be laughing. But would Jesus have worn something so flammable? The United Kingdom was mired in shame, as this incendiary Right Said Fred footage attests. I'm too sexy for my car, too sexy for my car, too sexy by far. So Duders had to take themselves to the altar of Kevin Costner, who forced out this old English scrub. This is English courage. Not only did he transform himself physically, but his voice is unrecognisable. He is our generation's Rory Bremner. So moved were we that we never wanted to leave this world's soundtrack by Brian Adams, who topped the pops for 16 weeks. Everything I do, I do it for you. 1991, it did it for you. 16 weeks, yes. four months. A third of the one. year was that, and that, that was enough to make it pretty tough. Four months, yeah. number one. Is that even... Feasible now? When people moan about lockdown, I say, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> 16 months. It's far too long. Months. It must be longer than wet, wet, wet. It's definitely, it's, it's, the, it's, the, it's the longest, isn't it's, it? Right, it's, 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 it's still got to be no, the longest. It's wet, wet, wet. In 1991, yeah. I was living in Italy, where they used to call wet, 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 wet. Inglesina, wet, wet, wet. To me, just to understand what they were saying. Where was uh, young was yes. Richard Ayoade? I was at school um, trying uh, to play in a band um, which was not um, really of any can Merit. I just ask you, based on what you've told us tonight, were you the only member in the band? I was the only consistent member, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Back in 1996, some people got really excited about Take That Splitting Up and some people got really excited about football. 
Save time. Yeah, it's coming home. In case you don't know, it didn't come home. 1996 was all about disappointment. The internet was basic. The only social media involved using a premium rate number to speak to other board people, as seen in this terrifyingly aggressive advert. 50, 50, 50. So what was the sound of 96? Well, this was the awful sound. The sound that goes right through you. We also had Beatles about with this migraine-inducing set and crazy antics like this. I love magic when they go, hey, presto. But it was the biggest show on TV, and it was on once a week, which was possibly once too many. How are you? Basically, the year was so disappointing that you had to make your own entertainment, like the cast of Emmerdale, who for some reason made this very bizarre music video. 1996, definitely my most embarrassing year. That brings it all flooding back, mm. Roche. What was it about 1996 then? I think I was sort of, it was, I was in that in-between age where you're not allowed to go out, but you think you're an adult. And I yeah. just remember that sort of, that feeling of like, oh, I want to get out. Pent and up. We did go out, but I never had any money. And then, and I always wore like suits. <laughs> <laughs> we used to go to Camden Palace and all my friends had been like hot pants and like these boots called Rangers and they were like very, and I, <laughs> I would wear like a suit because I don't know why. I just was. I what, got really. Like when you say a suit, you mean no, like a... quite in fashion in the nineties, but not for clubs. Like a business suit. Jackets. <laughs> yeah, like a long jacket. A, a skirt and a jacket and like the big collar. Or a business. It was meant to be more like high fashion, but I didn't have a lot of money, so it always looked like I looked like a woman who'd escaped an office. Yeah. And then so my friends would get up on these podiums in Camden Palace to dance music, and I didn't drink, and I didn't take drugs, <laughs> and I would just be in my suits <laughs> next to them. <laughs> 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 and I just remember thinking, I hope the kebab shop's still open. <laughs> sort of years later, I had to say to one of my friends, she was like, remember Palace, how amazing it was? And I had to be like, I hated it. <laughs> <laughs> I hated Camden Palace, but I hated clubbing, I hated... Was there yeah. anyone else dressed like that? Or... No, no, they, no. They, they, they called me the suit, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> the suit. Even now, they'll be like, you got your suit ready, Rosie? You know, I'm going to be a bridesmaid, yeah. obviously you're in a suit. Let's have, talk about some of these clips then. Beatles apart, nowadays the world is so insane that anything can happen at any given point. Back then, if anything remotely out of the ordinary happens, you were looking for Beatles, really, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> it was either him or Edmunds. You were like, it's a little bit out of the ordinary. I might be... Where's but the camera? They did some awful things. They, like, crushed people's cars and stuff. <laughs> and, and a man would be like, oh, my car! And then they'd be like... <laughs> yeah. The Beatles, like... <laughs> yeah. Just like, what a horrible, horrible show.